Okay, uh, th uh, thank you very much for uh, introduction. Uh, okay, so uh, good good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is my name is Yuichi Keda, Aji Science Kyoto University. Uh, today, I I want I I uh, talk about uh, the, the proposing the Kyoto social value for integration of divided world through the collaboration with human survivability study and engineering study. Okay, so first I uh, briefly, I, I, I will review uh, uh, globalization briefly. So globalization is, uh, globalization refers to the free movement of four factors. That is labor. The second one is goods. The third one is capital and knowledge. Uh, on the global scale for greater economic growth. This is a globalization. But uh, there is a two aspects in globalization. One is a positive one. The positive one is uh, uh, emerging country have developed their economy, economies and international economic gap has narrowed. This is a certainly a uh, positive aspect, but uh, uh, we have negative side, negative aspect. On the other hand, social divide, such as widening domestic economic disparities and extinction of local cultures and global economic crisis have become apparent behind the scene. Okay, I think this, uh, all, all of us uh, have already noticed this both side. So uh, we have a challenge, okay, so uh, there is a need to elucidate the divided structure based on the microscopic interconnectedness among people, goods, money, and knowledge by concerning global divide and widening disparities and aging. Okay, so our challenge is here. Uh, this one. Okay, our challenge is to diffuse an, all, uh, an alternative value system instead of economic growth to integrate divided world in the trend of digitalization and decarbonization. So here I define two targets, two targets, okay? One target is digital society. The second target is decarbonized society. So we have these two targets, okay? So uh, for this, uh, to study this challenge, uh, we need uh, uh, define the academic questions. Okay, first question is this. Can macroscopic phenomena such as disparities and divided structure of the world be clarified from microscopic interconnectedness? This is a uh, uh, first uh, question. Okay, so second one is uh, what kind of new methodologies in natural science and humanities are necessary for this purpose? I, I think many, many, many uh, 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 audience uh, have no the answer for this the second question. Okay, the third one is: Can we? How can we integrate the result of individual academic study to understand the disparity and divided structure of the world as a whole? Okay, so these are the uh, academic question. Uh, to so to answer, especially the second one, I need to review uh, the. Uh, human survivability study here, okay? So I, um, uh, half of us know this uh, concept very well, but uh, today we have uh, 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 a distinguished guest uh, from the School of uh, Engineering. So I have to review this, uh, this, uh, this one. Okay, so human survivability study is a practical science that conducts transdisciplinary and interdisciplinary research from both natural science and humanities perspectives and implement the result of the research in society uh, intending to solve the issue of, uh, of survival, survival of humankind, okay? So uh, we put three requirements to all students and all faculties in this study. First requirement is, sorry, first requirement is this, uh, we aim to find solution for to global issues. Second one is we will conduct 
transdisciplinary academic research from both natural science and humanities perspective. The third one is study covers the practical implementation of research result in society. Okay, so, but this is just a requirement. And uh, as a result, we have a, a, a series of uh, research output that uh, varies, very, uh, that covers various uh, issues using many different uh, approach. So uh, we have uh, uh, many uh, case study of human survivability study. So therefore, we, can, we should say this, the whole body of these case studies obtained from the uh, research in transdisciplinary research group in GSIS is human survivability study. Okay, so we put this requirement, but out uh, the result uh, is considered as a case study of, uh, of a human survivability study. Okay, this is a uh, uh, characteristics of human survivability study. Then uh, I uh, define the, the strategies and methodologies to answer today's question. Okay, first strategy. I, I have already uh, defined two targets. In addition to two targets, I define it is right, three uh, strategies. One strategy, first strategy is proposing an alternative value system instead of economic growth. Okay, then uh, the strategy, uh, the second strategy is draw up a vision of future world based on an accurate understanding of current world. The, strat the third strategy is gathering strengths of Kyoto's knowledge and technology. We will take a new step forward ourselves based on the alternative value system. Okay, so these are the strategy. Uh, and to do, uh, to, 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 to conduct this uh, this study, I I show two different methodology. One is a soft methodology that is human survivability study. As I explained in the previous slide, transdisciplinary uh, between science, uh, natural science, and humanities are required. And also uh, the second second characteristic is uh, we knew, we use two different approach. One is forecasting, uh, the other one is backcasting. I think. Uh, the student team explained this concept uh, very well, okay? But especially this uh, backcasting is essential to reach a proper goal, okay? The third one is uh, student did not, uh, student team did not point out this one, but we need bird's eye and worm's eye, worm's eye, okay, especially uh, the, the, uh, okay, this one is a kind of top-down approach. And this one is a kind of bottom-up approach, but this, the later, later, later approach is very important to know uh, citizens' thought. This is essential for, to get the emphasis, okay? So uh, in addition to this soft methodology, uh, we have a hard methodology. Uh, uh, to me, this is a network science and quantum and statistical mechanical informatics. Uh, in this uh, methodology, uh, we need a microscopic understanding of macroscopic phenomena. And to do so, uh, we use, we, 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 we focus on the interconnectedness or in, in different ways in the system. Okay, so in this uh, uh, approach, uh, we have two, um, characteristic uh, 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 function. One is a superposition. This is a, a kind of linear uh, scheme. In, uh, okay, so uh, this is a uh, one uh, in linear uh, theory. We can use a superposition for the for the solution for the uh, solution. Okay, but in addition to this, uh, 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 due to the the interconnectedness or interaction, uh, our system has uh, an, an unexpected uh, uh, characteristic behavior that is known as emergence in uh, uh, the theory of complexity. Okay, the third one is a contraction of information 
and reconstruction of information. This, especially for uh, this purpose, the quantum mechanical informatics is in, uh, important. Uh, okay, anyway, so this part is comfortable for me, but we cannot, we should not stay in the comfortable uh, place to explore the uh, proper uh, study. Okay, so then uh, we, we define the Kyoto's uh, social value instead of economic growth. In history, Adam Smith uh, wrote that the, uh, a significantly, a significant uh, the influential books in more than 20, uh, uh, two, 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 200 years ago. One is a theory of normal sentiment. The other one is a, an in, inquiry into nature and custom causes of wealth of nations. Our first book is known as Doto uh, Kanjoro in Japanese. The second one is uh, Kokufuron in Japanese. Okay, so apparently first one is a uh, uh, kind of subjective, uh, subjective value system. The second one is objective uh, market mechanism. By, com by, uh, by, requiring, by requiring both aspects, uh, his theory uh, give us uh, 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 extraordinary impact to establish a capitalist society. But today's capitalism, uh, the uh, system is very different from the, uh, from the view uh, proposed by Adam Smith. Okay, today's system is essentially this one, market fundamentalism without social value system. Okay, so this one, so first one, first book, this one was lost in the past 200 years. Okay, so we need to res restore this part today. Okay, so I, uh, I propose this value system, Kyoto's value system. Okay, so first one is a Kirame. And second one is Motenashi. The third one is uh, Shimatsu. So we don't have to uh, explain in detail because we know uh, uh, this, this value system very well. Okay, uh, especially the third one, this was uh, symbolically uh, shown in this uh, stone-made stone, stone uh, water bowl. Okay, this, uh, this, is, this consists of four uh, kanji characters. Ware, uh, Tada, Taruo, Shiru. I just know what is enough. So this is, I think this is uh, 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 essentially important to, uh, to make, to, to be a happy state, okay? So anyway, um, what I want to say this, uh, uh, in this slide is uh, 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 this kind of uh, value system, value, social value system is a subjective uh, uh, nature, has subject, subjective nature inherently. So uh, I think uh, in, uh, this uh, presenting value system is a productive way uh, instead of uh, thinking, considering uh, well-being directly. So, okay, so, so then I, so for this reason, I take this approach, presenting a social value system. Okay, so then, I, 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 show, I, I propose uh, three axes. One is a, a target, second one is a strategy, the third one is value system. Okay, so then I will uh, explain the, uh, the first strategy. Okay, we need to uh, understand the, our world uh, accurately. For that purpose, uh, we collaborate with many students to understand the global flow of commodity or goods and uh, money or capital and uh, human or labor. Okay, so in, this, in these uh, studies, uh, many students contributed to, uh, to, to clarify the world uh, in a quantitative and uh, objective way. One is a uh, uh, for example, this one, the traditional industry in Kyoto. The second one, uh, this, I will explain this one later. And second one is global value added system by uh, Sadakun 
and profit shifting in digital economy by Nakamoto Kun and uh, immigrant assimilation in, in ASEAN, not only ASEAN, in the world today, and by Kazakhstan and Syrian refugee in neighbor country in Kritikun by Kritikun and design of isolation index by Otikun and in policy process, Nomura-san contributed uh, a significant uh, 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 writing in, to, to explain the activity in international organization. So anyway, uh, they, they was, their study helped us to understand the, uh, the world today uh, accurate. Okay, then we need to understand Kyoto accurate. In this uh, study, Sato uh, anal anal analyzed uh, uh, supply chain customer network in Kyoto to understand the uh, sustainability and survivability of Kyoto's traditional craft industry. Okay, and then Mukai Kun. Mukai Kun uh, analyzed the GPS data to analyze uh, 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 over tourist problem and he proposed uh, and he developed a, me a method to uh, show the optimizing travel route for visitors. Okay, so the third one is uh, uh, by Otikun. He analyzed uh, uh, similar same data uh, to Mukai Kun, but he he uh, concentrate on the community structure of citizens and uh, visitors and he shows the stability of the community structure. Okay, so anyway, so uh, in this study, we can get a clear picture about today's Kyoto uh, using IT technologies and mathematical uh, analysis technologies. Okay, so then by knowing the current today, a uh, current world, we need to show the vision for the future. This is for the uh, target one. Uh, um, digital uh, society. Okay, so in this study, I uh, pick up the example of international remittance. In international remittance, uh, uh, we, we started to use crypto asset, uh, but uh, for their uh, high speed and low cost. Okay, but uh, there's a problem. A pl uh, price fluctuation is very large and it can be misused for money laundering because of the anom 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 uh, anonymous, uh, 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 I mean, we don't know uh, any information about the, the user on the uh, crypto asset. So there's a, a very big problem. So we need to detect the abnormal event that spoils the credibility of crypt crypto asset based on temporal trading network and uh, price variation. For that purpose, uh, we, can, we can international uh, interdisciplinary theoretical and mathematical science program. They joined to this study and many people uh, contributed, have, have contributed a significant uh, 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 study. Okay, one is the extension of network science using algebraic topology. Uh, this is from mathematical mathematics side. Next one is application of quantum logic to uh, machine learning. This is a from contribution from theoretical physics side. The third one is by combining these study, we uh, are trying to make advancement of anomaly detection algorithm for this purpose. Okay, to detect uh, uh, to to get a uh, uh, good uh, safe system for the international remittances for immigrants. Okay, so this is a, a one, one vision for the future. The second vision for the future is digital health. For this uh, study, uh, uh, we, <clears throat> uh, Professor Imanaka uh, from the School of Medicine, Kyoto University, uh, he uh, joined to this study to, uh, to, to, to evaluate the effect of cooperation among medical institutions to improve the quality of medical care. This is very important for the uh, aging society uh, in uh, today. Okay, so Ochikun contributed to this study and he will 
uh, give an oral presentation in an international conference in, at the end of November this year. For the target two, we, have, we, we, have, we are going to show some vision for the decarbonized society, decarbonization. One is, uh, is made by um, uh, Tanaka-san. He was a for, uh, she was a former uh, graduate student. student. She studied uh, hydrogen production using next generation nuclear power. This hydrogen is used as an energy carrier to integrate uh, renewable energy, such as wind, wind, uh, wind power and uh, uh, solar PV power. Uh, okay, so this is a, a, so we, based on this analysis, we can develop, uh, we can draw a picture about the uh, hydrogen economy. This is one uh, future vision, but we have a new step forward ourselves. That is a, a chemical, a chem bioeconomy. In this approach, uh, Professor Sakai uh, School Graduate School of uh, Agricultural Science uh, joined to this study. He's actually, he's a, a area director. Of, uh, currently, we are discussing to establish a fifth area in our uh, social innovation center. He brought us a new idea, uh, not only uh, a, a new idea to consider both uh, CO2 and methane, both of them, most, both uh, the greenhouse gas, and, but in a traditional discussion, we concentrate, we focus on just CO2. But methane is, uh, is uh, contributed significantly. More, uh, more than 20% of the greenhouse gas is methane. So by using C1 compound on the leaf of the plant, plant uh, we can uh, uh, increase the food production by decreasing uh, methane production. So in, addition, in this project, uh, two researchers joined from, joined from uh, School of Agriculture and uh, one uh, professor from uh, School of Energy Science. Okay, so in this way, we have started the collaboration with other uh, graduate school in Kyoto University. Okay, the last one, Last one is a is an invitation to a researcher in the in graduate school of engineering, Kyoto University. Okay, a challenge. Our challenge is here. Uh, I explain as I as as I explained before. Uh, the challenge is to diffuse Kyoto's social value system instead of economic growth to integrate a uh, divided world in the trend of digital society and decarbonized, decarbonized society. Okay, in uh, all students and faculty of Graduate School of Engineering are uh, welcome to join us. Please consider uh, this, uh, uh, the, the joining to us. Uh, we have already uh, uh, collaborated, we have already uh, uh, obtained the collaborator from School of Medicine, and School of Agriculture and School of Energy Science in Kyoto University. And in addition to this, we have a very uh, strong con uh, uh, collaborator from Riken, ISENS. And in addition to this, uh, we have uh, started to discuss the, the, the expansion, extens extension of the collaboration with Kyoto University and the University of Pennsylvania, University of Texas. And in, in industry side, we have a uh, uh, CoCE Ltd. This is a, um, a startup company. Startup company by uh, established by uh, the graduate student in Kyoto University, and also uh, Ripple Lab Inc. in the U.S. Okay. So in, uh, finally, we uh, I mentioned this one. Discussion have begun with uh, Kyoto Korea for the collaboration with Kyoto Company and other universities. Uh, we developed this size uh, social innovation center as an ecosystem for innovation, uh, innovative system change. So for this purpose, uh, we have a good space that is a, a community lounge, the first floor of Higashi Chijokan. Currently, uh, this area is not uh, fully used, so we can use 
uh, this area uh, for this uh, new collaboration. Okay, thank you very much. This is my, uh, uh, my uh, message to the students and faculties in the graduate school of engineering. Thank you very much.